Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, this month's Dokkan V-Jump leak, or scan, has officially been revealed. A big shout out to DB Legends Japan on Twitter for providing this to us. And as always, through this image, we were able to learn a few things about what's coming for the next big JP celebration at the end of this month slash early May, or more specifically, the Golden Week celebration that happens every single year. So, uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it and take a closer look at this scan. Now, the first big thing that we learned is that this year's Golden Week celebration is going to be GT themed. And as you can probably tell from the first half of this image, uh, there's a pretty big emphasis on LRB Pan, who is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening during the campaign. Now, unfortunately, they never provide us with any kind of information or even a teaser for what her leader skill or passive will look like after the Extreme Z Awakening, but I'm just going to go ahead and assume that she will be very good post EZA because that's kind of been the case for almost all of the free-to-play LR EZAs, right? I mean, look at LR First Form Frieza, Tech Super Saiyan Goku, more recently Max Power Master Roshi. Um, the Super Battle Road Extreme Z Awakenings are also extremely good, so uh, yeah, I have high hopes for B-Pan. I'm sure she's just going to be even more tanky and an even better healer. Maybe, you know, have the ability to do a bit more damage too, but obviously that's not really her purpose. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what they do. LR B-Pan EZA on the way. If you guys have any suggestions or any guesses for what her details will be, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. All right, so that's the first bit of news. Now, moving down to the bottom here, we have three other things that we learned. The first one is that there will be more Peton battle cards on the way. This one is gonna be, or this pack rather, I guess, is gonna be for the Android Saga. And the three stickers they uh, teased here are Android 17, Super Saiyan Trunks, and also Super Saiyan Goku. But of course, there will be more cards or more uh, stickers along with these guys and the third thing is that there's gonna be a brand new legendary Goku event I don't know if it's gonna be like legendary Goku event style or just like a part two of the legendary Goku event and it's still gonna be with Goku except in his GT forms so uh, think of it like the I guess current legendary Goku event except with GT Goku and all of his various forms in GT and that's gonna be a brand new event, which is awesome because I think most people enjoy the Legendary Goku event, although a lot of us have probably run it too much. So it's nice to get a fresh new uh, event to run. Uh, it's still gonna be with Goku. One question I do have is uh, when are we gonna get other Legendary character events, right? Like Frieza, uh, Vegeta, um, you know, Gohan. And the list goes on, like Cell, so on and so forth. Like so many characters that have just many different forms could have their own legendary event. So even though it's great we're getting a new one, it's still Goku, even though it's going to be different kinds of Gokus or different forms of Gokus. Uh, it would have been nice to see something different, right? Like a legendary Vegeta event, I think, is something that a lot of people would really want to see. But anyways, anyways, we're getting a GT legendary Goku event, which is pretty cool. And the last thing is that we're also going to be getting a new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, another GT-themed Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. Uh, we already have the one with Shadow Dragons, obviously, so maybe this one will focus more on the good guys in GT, like Pan, for example, Trunks, uh, Vegeta, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much it, guys. Four major bits of news. Uh, it's going to be GT-themed, LRB Pan Extreme Z Awakening, uh, you know, new Peton Battle stuff on the way, Android Saga themed, and uh, we also have the new Legendary Goku event, and the uh, new stage for Infinite Dragon Ball History. Um, there's not much else to talk about, I wish I could give you guys more details about, um, you know, other events, but they don't like to reveal too much, because obviously they want to keep a few things secret, although, you know, through data downloads, we almost always find out what's going on before the event actually happens, or the campaign actually starts. Um, oh, one last thing actually, just before we go, they don't say anything about it here, but I, I think if I were to bet, if I were to bet, I feel like there's a decent chance that one of these Super Saiyan 4s will get 
an Extreme Z Awakening, right? Like whether it be Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I'm talking about the 120 leads, of course, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, or maybe if you want to get crazy, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the tech one, because, you know, as good as he can still be sometimes, he's obviously very bad defensively against like, you know, normal attacks, like supers he can counter, but if he doesn't counter, then you're kind of dead. So, uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta getting an EZA seemed like maybe a crazy idea if we were talking about this like a couple months ago before the anniversary, but now, you know, because we got the UI Goku Extreme Z Awakening, the Int one, the category lead, who came out way after Gogeta, right? Um, I don't think that's too far-fetched, man. I think there's a decent chance at least one of those three Super Saiyan 4s gets an Extreme Z Awakening. If not for like the first part initially, then maybe for part two or something like that. I don't know if there will be a part two, but if there is a part two, then maybe, you know, one of the Super Saiyan 4s gets that easy A. Um, personally, I would probably like to see Super Saiyan 4 Goku get it first, just because, dude, like he's, yo, with level 10 links right now without the easy A, he's already so crazy, man. Like he's already putting out insane numbers, so. With that EZA, with the boost in stats, with a, with a better passive, um, we could see this guy putting out like 6-7 million damage, so that should be fun. Obviously, I want to see Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta too, but it's not as much of a priority for me. And the reason I don't want to see Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta get an EZA right now is probably because, you know, I want to be able to use the Int one a little bit longer. Although I don't think they'll make the Tech one better than the Int one with an EZA but it'll be closer, right? So, uh, yeah, for now, I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku is the one I would want to see the most, but uh, either way, we'll see what happens. You know, we will be getting that campaign at the end of this month. Currently, it's, uh, what is it, the 16th, so we're very close now. And uh, yeah, look forward to it, guys. If you guys are JP players, of course, it's coming soon. For my global players out there, I know some of you guys watch this stuff too, just to see like what's coming down the line. We're going to be getting all this stuff, of course, B Pan Easy A, the Peton Paddle stuff, which hasn't even dropped on Global yet, um, the new Infinite Dragon Ball History, Legendary Goku event, all that good stuff, so we just got to be a little bit patient, but all this stuff will probably come after the 6th anniversary, which is, of course, coming very soon, man, we got like two and a half months to go, so that's also pretty freaking exciting. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm getting off track, that is this month's V Jump leak for April 2021. Um, let me know how you guys feel about any of these things in the comments and uh, as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.